So this video is an exploration of one of the four basic forms. This is a box form in this case. And what we'll wind up with is a rounded off box. What I like to do is begin with the bottom of the box. This establishes all of the ground points and includes information about the sections of the box that I can't see. You'll notice here that I'm using art rage drawing software, but to me, the medium doesn't matter at all. You can use pen, pencil, charcoal, anything, and the process stays the same. After you've drawn the bottom of the box according to linear perspective rules without divergence, you pull up all four corners of the box, and I pull them up further than I think that they need to go. Um, that way I don't have to draw the top and then estimate where the sides are going to be and all these intersections are. I can always refine this later, but I find that this is a good way to begin the box form. And you'll notice that very quickly, by following that process, I've established a loose structure of a box. So all I have to do from here is go back and refine it. I can double check myself as I go to make sure that none of the lines um, diverge from each other as they go back towards the horizon. And what I'm doing now is I'm rounding off the corners. So I'm taking my generic box form and making it a specific box form because I do have this rounded off tin box in front of me. Um, once I've started to round off the corners, um, I can then progress into some more specific detail. This is this is a box with a lid, so I can actually draw in the lid. Um, and I can develop any extra smaller forms that I need to by adding slightly smaller lines and uh, coming in with more detail. What I'm doing here is I'm going into my layers and just lightening up some of the understructure lines. One of the advantages of using a pencil is that, uh, an actual physical pencil, I mean, is that you will not have to erase very much because you can draw very, very softly with pencil. And um, to get this box to feel a little more rounded, what I'm doing is being a little bit less specific on where the closest corner is because the transition is round. Uh, I don't want to commit to a specific exact edge. And now what I'm doing uh, is creating the shadow. And I've done myself a favor by beginning with the bottom because I know exactly where the back of the shadow begins and continues out. 